Welcome back to The Grind for a quick video on this Cavalier Event Quest boss, Crossbones. Now he's a bit of a beefed up boss and he also has Rising Sun. So you're gonna gain Furies on every hit and once you cross nine or if they expire, they're gonna turn into a passive degen. So they are passive damage, which kind of removes some of the main counters for this the other node that's similar that has the degen debuffs. Now, Wasp is a really good option for this fight, actually, because she can very easily chain heavies, which is how you remove the Fury buffs, and that will help to prevent you from getting the passive degen. The other nice thing is, since Crossbones has tenacity, he can shrug off stuns, and so it can be hard to land your heavies with other champions, but since Wasp can chain on the heavy with the passive stun, you can easily land the heavies to remove the Furies. Now, with Wasp's cycle, she can actually almost give a full bar of power, and if not, if you keep the opponent locked in the corner, you can throw two heavies back to back like this to push the opponent over a bar of power and then bait out a special one. And this pretty much essentially removes the need to parry the opponent because you just keep them in the corner, you chain on a heavy, push them over a bar of power, and if they're not over a bar of power, you chain on a second heavy in the corner. And I did get clipped there and mess up a little bit, but that's okay. We did not die, thankfully. And now we've pushed him over bar of power again. We're doing another combo, chaining on a heavy, and again he has one bar of power so we bait the special one and we just repeat this cycle over and over and over and we don't have to rely on parrying him at all which is very nice to do and there's not a ton of champions that make this fight so simple uh, apocalypse is great because his uh, stuns and debuffs can't be shrugged off if you bring in white magneto then anyone has a passive stun so that's easy but um, storm pyramid x can also prevent uh, tenacity from shrugging off the stuns as well because she gets a passive stun so there are a few champions but wasp is one of those that with no synergies at all can handle this fight very well as you can see here we're really just in this cycle doing this loop baiting out special ones and as long as you don't make some big mistakes even though i made some big mistakes we're still alive and getting through this so um, it does show that this fight can be made relatively simple with wasp and i think wasp is an underrated champion she doesn't have a ton of utility but the fact that she can do this loop with chaining on heavies and pushing the opponent over a bar of power can make a lot of different fights and scenarios a lot easier easier as you can see here with this very specific scenario so i hope that you enjoy it i'm going to be releasing a couple more solos against this crossbone boss and i hope to see you in the next video